Black Lively's businesses are falling apart fast. Her hair care line, Black Brown, is being slammed with negative reviews and her alcoholic beverage brand, Betty Booze, is under fire. TikTok users are returning her products in droves, calling them overpriced and ineffective. Here to finally review Blake Lively's hairline, Blake Brown. I say finally because I ordered this like over two weeks ago and only these two came in. So I ended up canceling my order for this one because it was stuck with FedEx and just picking it up in store today. Excited to try all three. And while I was waiting for the mask, I tried these two on their own and pfft. Even worse, Fans are accusing her of promoting alcohol during her It Ends With Us press tour, a movie about domestic violence sparking outrage across social media. There's a difference between Blake Lively not being a good spokesperson for an issue and deserving the wrath of the entire internet. The pylon. The Absolutely. Blake Lively has a hair care line out. She has a drinks line out. She's a businesswoman. But she's been marketing her products through the press for this film. She's been dressing in florals. She's been saying, go grab your florals get your girls it's really disappointing and disheartening you would think if you're an actress with a big platform you'd want to use that platform to speak eloquently about domestic violence and if you think that's all you're wrong reports claim that Blake and her husband Ryan Reynolds secretly took control of key scenes in the film causing even more backlash this was all the proof that I needed to know that Justin Baldoni was definitely being pushed out of his director role and completely overtaken by Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. He was asked at his own red carpet for the movie that he directed if he would be returning for the sequel. Here's the interview. We do have it starts with us, so I'm hoping to see you back in the double duty role. I think the, there are better people for that one. I think there are better people for that one. Justin. I think Blake Lively's ready to direct, that's what I think. Is this the beginning of the end for her brand? Let's dive into the controversy. What happens when a beloved actress uses a film about domestic violence to push her own products? Fans are furious, and this story is only getting worse. Despite all the promotion and Blake's high-profile appearances, things quickly started to fall apart. The public wasn't buying it, literally and figuratively. TikTok became a battleground for Blake Brown's reviews, with influencers tearing the products apart. Emma Neswesk's TikTok review went viral after she slammed the product for being clunky and hard to use. I hate that I'm making this video. Blake Lively, I love you, but this hair care line just isn't it. I'm so excited about this. I ran, when I say ran, I ran to Target in the morning to get my hands on this. This is not dry shampoo. Do not let it fool you. This is a texturizing spray. First of all, it doesn't even make my hair ungreasy. All it does is make it tacky. She called it obnoxious and suggested that the dry shampoo, which was supposed to leave hair fresh and clean, was instead texturizing spray that left hair sticky and dirty. Emma's scathing review racked up millions of views, but she wasn't alone. More TikTokers began to chime in, echoing her complaints about the bulky packaging and lackluster performance. Kaylee, another TikToker, posted, This stuff is gonna be a nightmare in your shower holding up that bottle as if it were evidence of a crime. And then came the bombshell, Katy Perry, a TikToker who shared a viral video claiming that Target staff were telling customers to return the black brown products, even calling it not worth the $20 price tag. It got worse when another commenter put the entire situation into a more dramatic context. Returning shampoo is one small act of bringing justice to a bully who has been bullying for far too long. No, it has nothing to do with DV, but you can return shampoo and use the money to donate the domestic violence causes. This is not dry shampoo. Do not let it fool you. This is a texturizing spray. First of all, it doesn't even make my hair ungreasy. All it does is make it tacky. It's amazing as a texturizing spray. I mean, I get volume and you have to wash your hair the next day because it is just stuck. It has a, a film to it. How do I explain it? It makes your hair like sticky. I don't, you know, it's just that feeling of like a texturizing spray. It just makes your hair feel like ugh. And especially if you like sleep in it the next day, just ugh, like when you brush it, it just doesn't feel good. This do not buy. Please redo this. The smell is amazing. The formulation sucks. 
It seemed like the public wasn't just rejecting Blake's products, they were using their dissatisfaction as a form of protest against her. But here's a twist. Black Lively hasn't addressed any of these claims. Is she deliberately staying quiet, hoping the backlash will blow over, or is there more to the story? Stay tuned, because we're about to reveal what could be an even bigger disaster for Blake. But this isn't just about a bad hair day. What Blake did during her It Ends With Us prayers tour may have made things even worse, and fans are furious. When Blake Lively was cast in It Ends With Us, fans were excited. The film, based on Colin Hoover's best-selling novel, tackles heavy themes of domestic violence, trauma, and healing. But instead of addressing the sensitive topics with care, Blake used her press tour to shine the spotlight on her personal brands, Blake Brown and her beverage line, Betty Booze. How does the latest PR regarding Blake Lively and the launch of her new movie, It Ends With Us, impact the launch of her new product line, Blake Brown, which she is now selling exclusively at Target. You believe that a lot of celebrity brands are launched by a licensing. In other words, they would be launched by Blake partnering up with either Target directly or with a manufacturer that sells to Target. And so I thought I would weigh in on what happens when a brand partners up with a celebrity and the celebrity has negative press. At a time when the conversation should have been about the importance of recognizing and addressing domestic violence, Blake was busy pushing products. Many saw this as not only tone deaf, but disrespectful to the core message of the movie. Social media erupted with criticism, with fans accusing her of using the movie's platform to selfishly promote her own financial interests. A little nervous to share this, but I'm going to share a counter perspective on the Blake Lively controversy. I've been nervous to say anything because a lot of people are very angry but i had i just saw a post of someone saying this similar thing you know no one's ever had an original thought but i had this exact conversation with my sister last week about what if it's the opposite of what everyone thinks what if blake lively promoted this movie the way she chose to absolutely on purpose what made it worse the promotion of betty booze her line of alcoholic beverages the idea of selling alcohol during a press tour for a film about domestic violence where alcohol is often a trigger for abuse did not sit well with fans. One commenter summed it up. Don't forget she also advertised her Betty Boo's beverage line during the movie knowing alcohol is a huge trigger for domestic violence survivors. It was seen as a major misstep, a move that lacked empathy and awareness. But why did Black do it? Was it out of desperation to save her brand from sinking cells? Some believe that it ends with us press tour was a last ditch effort to prop up her struggling businesses. After all, promoting her brand seemed to be the priority during interviews and appearances. But Black's focus on business on such a serious subject matter turned off many fans. And here's where things take an even more dramatic turn. Black's not the only one being dragged into the controversy. Ryan Reynolds, her husband, got involved in ways no one saw coming. Is this just a family power play to keep their brand afloat? Or is there something even more underhanded? going on behind the scenes. You think this is bad? Just wait until you hear how Blake and Ryan Reynolds took control of the movie itself, leaving fans and the director shocked. As if promoting alcohol and hair care products during a domestic violence focus film wasn't enough, Blake and her husband, Ryan Reynolds, have been accused of overstepping their roles during the production of It Ends With Us. Reports suggest that Ryan secretly rewrote the iconic rooftop scene, a critical moment in the movie, without the knowledge of the film's director, Justin Baldoni. While Baldoni tried to stay diplomatic, fans quickly picked up on the, on the tension. Many began to speculate that Blake and Ryan were overstepping their roles, dictating creative decisions on a project that wasn't theirs to control. Some fans even began speculating about Blake's motives. One person commented, I honestly don't think Blake disclosed Ryan's input to credit him. I think she said the whole we help each other thing to tie herself to Deadpool. She wants people to think, wow, Ryan did that for Blake's work. I wonder what she has done for him. Black's personal life is clearly falling apart, and her businesses aren't far behind. But the latest revelation about her secret role in Ryan's project may just be the biggest scandal yet. 
Stay tuned for our next episode to uncover the full story. Black Lively's carefully crafted empire seems to be on the verge of collapse, with her businesses facing public backlash, TikTok revolts, and even her family caught in the crossfire. Is there any way for Black to recover? Is this all just part of a council culture gone too far? Or has Black dug her own grave by putting person again above everything else? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video because trust me, you will want to hear what's coming next.